Marilla's given me strict instructions not to talk your head off. I do have a habit of chattering on, so... Why, if I could imagine myself as a bird, a magpie would probably be the closest thing I could resemble. <laughs> Would you do me the honor of being my partner? But there aren't any other girls in it. You're a sturdy looking girl, and I'm fast. I know we'd stand a good chance. I guess so. Come on! Did a daughter of mine to outrun the boys. <laughs> he's 16, but he's in our class. <laughs> Don't be mad at me for keeps. Oh, yeah. My mind is made up. My red hair is a curse. Some girls in books lose their hair in fevers or sell it for money for some good deed. I'm sure I wouldn't have minded losing my hair like that. There's nothing comforting in having your hair cut off because you've dyed it. This is the very last of the Queen Anne's lace for the summer. Don't worry about your hair. No one even notices it anymore. Every time I look at myself, I do penance by seeing how ugly I am. I don't even try to imagine it away. I have to go now. Mother doesn't know I'm gone. Luck on the exam tomorrow. You too. I hope you stand first. I am indebted to you for life. We have no intention of arriving out of breath for our examination. But... Someone who chooses to associate with the likes of Josie Pond. Father, and ask him if he'll come back and get me. I could never be as safe as you are, Anne. <laughs> come on. Excuse me, Marilla. Your mother hasn't relented. I told her it wasn't your fault. I cried and cried, but it's no use, Anne. We can't ever be friends again. Diana, will you promise never to forget me, no matter what other friends come into your life? I could never love anybody as much as I love you, Anne. Do you really love me? Of course I do. Nobody's ever loved me for as long as I can remember, except for Matthew and Marilla. And will you swear to be my secret bosom friend? But isn't that wicked to swear? We're in enough trouble already. But when you're swearing a vow, I solemnly swear to remain faithful to my bosom friend, Diana Berry, for as long as the sun and the moon shall endure. Now you say it. I solemnly swear to be made faithful to my bosom friend, Anne Shirley. For as long as the sun and moon shall endure, shall endure. And as long as my mother doesn't find out. Oh, she mustn't. I can't ever. I have to get back. She'll be suspicious. 
Wilt thou give me a lock of thy jet black dresses? But I don't have any black dresses. Your hair, all right. Beloved friend, henceforth we must be strangers living side by side. But my heart will be ever faithful to thee. <laughs>